Ashraf Mukhtar is a member of the Syrian opposition and he joins me live now from Istanbul. Good to, to talk to you, sir. Um, maybe you can explain for everyone watching this new approach, uh, the new tactic of civil disobedience in a staged fashion. Well, it is, honestly, it's a, it's a, a cry of desperation mm. in the Syrian uh, people part. Uh, we have tried nine months of the peacefully demonstration uh, nothing, we got nothing except uh, ignore, uh, ignore from from uh, the international community. We had some uh, sort of, you know, statement here and there. Ar gutless Arab League, which hasn't even made its mind yet. Still, they give Assad another eight days uh, to, to murder and, and, and even uh, uh, take over Homs, which is uh, the capital of the revolution now. So uh, what else we can do now with this uh, and a new move, which is uh, it's a desperate move to get the attention for the international community. Yeah. Look, at the moment, the situation is so desperate in all cities in Syria, and, and especially Homs, the capital of the revolution. It's surrounded. We hardly could find food to eat. And then we're going to go on strike. We're not, we're not doing ourselves any, any more favors. But what, what, what can we do? to bring well, the attention to our plight at the moment. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Uh, there are those who will say that this isn't even the approach, the idea of, of peaceful demonstrations. Uh, that, that's not the approach. That's not going to get you what you want, that the only way this regime will fall, the only language it understands is firepower, and that a, a military action is what's needed. What do you say to people who believe that? Absolutely right. I mean, the, the, the regime for nine months did nothing except force and killing, murdering. Look, United Nations uh, just issued uh, we, we, uh, the numbers was four and, uh, four and a half thousand uh, murdered people. Uh, our numbers are even doubled that. Not only this, we got 65,000 people in, det uh, in detention. We got uh, tens of thousand people, uh, refugees in neighboring country. Asia doesn't, doesn't have any other approach except power and except uh, firearms. And the only thing we could we could remove this person is by fire. Now our our people they're not armed. What else we can do? I mean, there is the Syrian uh, Free Army. I mean, it's a small unit. It's a, it's a really desperate uh, people who actually leave the army and join the the, the civilian. The only thing we we could remove this uh, uh, blight on the Syrian people is international intervention. Well, that's what we need. What is crying out for? We need the, the UN to 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 get act, to act together to pass the resolution which is needed and to stop and have a credible actually threat to Assad and his thugs and stop him. Now. Okay, uh, Asrafer, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. And